Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a scary paranormal experience that happened to me when I was just 15 years old. We had just moved into a new house, and little did we know, we were not alone. Our new home was a small three-bedroom place, and my sisters and I had to share a single room while my brother and parents had their own. Take into consideration that our house was government-owned for three-plus years. At this point in time, we were comfortable with the house, but I was still skeptical about everything. I still am after this incident. Mind that I don't want to give out my sisters' names, so I'm just going to call them White and Green. So normally, White would always sleep at the foot of the bed to charge her phone overnight, so she could talk to her boyfriend. Green and I didn't mind as that made us fit better in one bed. One night while we're all asleep, White woke up from her dreams multiple times. I am a light sleeper, so I woke up to her twitching. She kicked me and Green up and asked to switch sleeping places. Green didn't mind, and they both switched places. About an hour later, Green started to moan and whimper almost as though she was having a bad dream. White wakes her up and says, did you have a nightmare too? I assumed you did and didn't want you to have nightmares the whole night. They both asked me to turn on the lamp since I was the closest, and once they were on, White asked me, did you feel anything while you were sleeping? I automatically replied with shaking my head, and she continued, I saw a hand touch your face, but once I was fully awake, it slithered into the blanket next to you and green. Then I had a nightmare about this ghost that looked like it had the exact same hand. Terrified, I check my bed patting everything around me, and snuggling back into my blanket. Green's voice started to quiver and told us, I had a nightmare too. I had a dream a ghost was chasing me. She followed me everywhere, but I was quick enough to run to the bedroom. I locked the door and sat in the corner, but I could see her bare decayed foot in the space separating the bottom of the door and the floor. She was trying to unlock it, and my only option was to jump out the window. She managed to open the door though. I turned back, and strangely she pushed me out the window. Before I could hit the floor, White, you woke me up. I laid there frightened, but as Green was telling us about her nightmare, I looked at the door. You know that feeling you get when you feel like something is watching you? I felt that right outside the bedroom door, this time only waiting for us to fall asleep. White then asked, how did it look like? Green responds with a whisper, scared herself, it was decaying already red and purple skin. The hair was long and covering half her face. Her fingers were oddly stretched to her knees and her feet were bare with decaying toes. White's face turned pale automatically and said, that's how she looked in my dream too. That following night no one fell asleep, and White decided to not sleep by the foot anymore. The next morning, we told our parents, and they said, when we moved here, there were two ghosts, but your dad had a dream about the numbers and address on this house, so we thought it was okay. It's fine. It's probably just for one night. Through the day, we begged and begged for our parents to do something, so my mom burned peppers and walked around the house in it, especially our bedroom. Suddenly we heard things rattling in the basement and that was when my dad was through. He grabbed his sword and started angrily chanting and walking around the house. He screamed at the ghost, but once he got to the basement, I think that's where my dad saw it. My dad screamed especially louder and said, so it's you. Get out of my house, you vicious monster. How dare you do such things to this house? This is my house, and no longer yours. Get out. He chased the ghost out of the house and slammed our door shut. Till today my parents say there are no ghosts in the house, but I'm still scared. Sometimes when I stay in the basement alone until night fell, El my mom tries to make up excuses for me to go up and stay up. That's it for today's video, thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have any similar experiences, please share them in the comments below. 